Hello, welcome to Garden B, where we train civil and structural engineers. My name is Lucas Chacha, and I'm going to be your instructor. In this tutorial, we are going to learn on how we are on how to insert columns and do paneling and prepare our model. Uh, save our model txf file ready for importing to protostructure like this one here so we like to convert or to prepare our model from where we left the other time where we had put our grids you can see this was the grid that we ended here so this we are going to pick it from so the next thing immediately once you Put your grid at the center of the walls. Remember, we are considering walls but not the existing columns. So, we have to clean up our model. We have to clean up these walls, clean up everything you clean up here so that you avoid errors when you are importing into protostructure for analysis. If you does not clean it up properly, it will give you some errors and your model will not work perfectly. So, So our model is ready for importing. So this is the staircase, this is the toilet. Yes. So I think we are done now with our model. What you do now, you save it as a DW, DXF file. So if you want to save it, so this is where our lesson is ending by saving our model. Our subsequent lesson will now be on how to import this model to protostructure. So I can just do this highlight and then highlight everything. Highlight everything on the model now that you have prepared. Your, your structural model. You can see what structural engineer do is very different from what the architects did. Now those maybe who are asking, what's the difference between architect? Those be the, even when I was starting, I didn't get the real clear difference between an architect and a, a structural engineer. You can see what the architect has done, and you as a civil or a structural engineer, what you ought to prepare out of that model that the architect has done. So. That's the that's how that's where the difference comes in terms of what we do as our modeling or the difference between architectural and a structural model. So this is just a simple by doing this it will also help you when you are doing detailing. So just uh, by by it will help you by dealing. So I was just showing you on how you can now you can save this. So to save this, you just highlight everything. Double click, not double click, but type W <coughs> on your screen, then press enter. Come, select the part that you want to save your model. Here it is the part. So I want just to save at an app structural. It's now plan. I've done it plan two. But now let me just say it maybe plan four, plan two, plan three. <coughs> And then ensure that now it's not in any other format but DXF file. And I'm using 2018 version, so I'll click it there. So you can now say save. Remember also to check on units. You are using millimeters, so put in millimeters. And then now click here, save. Yes, and also before be, before you 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 save it in DWF file. Make sure that you have saved your file. So you have to come to home to effect the changes. Come to card here, and then just click save. Yes. So once you save your model, that's where now you import. Remember to do that because if it doesn't do that, to take the initial one that you did before saving. So you have to save your model first. Yes. So. Our uh, lesson is ending here. So our next will be on how to import it into protostructure and then we we'll start doing our analysis. Thank you for listening. Let's meet again. Remember to subscribe and comment and like and uh, I'll as a way to keep me grow, growing.
in this uh, platform thank you so much